So the question I have is, has Adidas made a shoe as impactful and as groundbreaking as this one in like the last 10 years? I'm trying to think of something and I can't think of anything. Anyway, uh, it's a big week for Chinese New Year's themed sneakers. I'm Jock Slade and this is the Heat Check. But first, the week begins with a trio of kicks from the Three Stripes original sub-brand. So first up, we have the women's Adidas Osmillion. I think that's how you say that. This is gonna be in core black on the 22nd for 110. There's also the cloud white on the same day for 110. And then we also have the gray two on January 22nd for 110. It's called gray two, not as in gray as well. Uh, we also have the women's Nike Dunk Low Valentine's Day on the 23rd for 115. Uh, so some outlets are reporting that these are dropping on the 23rd while others are saying they're dropping on the 29th. But anyways, shout out to Nike for actually releasing a themed sneaker on time. You remember the Halloween stuff? Anyway, uh, this past several years have we've been getting Halloween, Christmas, Valentine's and other holiday sneakers releasing on dates way past their intended day to be worn. My favorites are the ones that drop a day after like like, like, why? Just just wait until next year. This time around, we're actually getting these within a reasonable time uh, before Valentine's, so you'll have plenty of time to get these for yourself or a loved one who's into sneakers or just dunks. Yes, those are two different types of people, and you know what I mean. We have the Air Jordan 38 Low Coconut Milk. This is gonna be on the 23rd for 175. We have the Women's Air Jordan 14 Low Love Letter. This is on the 24th for 180. So, like, like the latest in a string of women's exclusives for the low top version of the Air Jordan 14 is this iridescent upper that reminds me of the Air Jordan 1 and the Air Jordan 6 Chameleons that dropped um, for All Star like, I don't know, like five, maybe six years ago. I wonder if the reception for these will be uh, similar to the Chameleon 1, which became an underrated banger amongst the flooded Jordan 1 market, or the Chameleon 6, which turned out to be just another pair of sixes in a flooded Jordan 6 market. Um, we have the Adidas AE1 New Wave on the 25th for 120. So AE, AKA Anthony Edwards debut signature shoe has been getting a lot of buzz lately, rightly so. And up next is the New Wave colorway, which matches up nicely with the Minnesota Timberwolves uniform. I doubt this is an homage to a particular genre of music that was huge in the 1980s, although there's something funny about Edwards turning out to be a fan of band like Duran Duran or Tears for Fears. That would be sick. Um, we also have the Nike Air Force One Low Rose. This is going to be on the 25th for 120. Uh, we have the Women's Nike Dunk Low Light Armory Blue and Photon Dust. That's on the 25th for 135. And... No, these don't have moss on them or have been left in the attic for years. These dunks are supposed to be fuzzy. The sneakers app says that they are comfortable, but they're dunks. So how comfortable can they really be? We have the Nike LeBron 21 Algae. This is going to be on the 25th for 200. The Nike Mac Attack OG. This is a restock. This is going to be on the 26th for 120. And uh, so 90s babies and sneakerheads. This one is all for you. Uh, Reebok Classics is bringing back the preseason line of trainers that was dedicated to, you guessed it, training to get you ready for the upcoming season of whatever sport it is that you might be into. In this case, the preseason 94 is for the old school football fan as they were worn by Dallas Cowboys and Reebok legend Emmitt Smith. The dude's a monster. So the Reebok preseason 94 mid in black and white is on the 26th for 130. And then they're also going to have it in white and red the same day for 130 as well. Then we have the A6 gel 1130 in S. This is in wood crepe. This is going to be on the 26th for 180. And they also have that in slate gray on the same day for 180 bucks again. Uh, the Jordan Airship Midnight Navy, that's going to be on the 27th for 140 The Nike SB Dunk Low Pro Court Purple, this is a restock. Those are going to be on the 27th for 115 We have the Air Jordan 6 Yellow Ochre. I still don't know how to say that. Those are going to be on the 27th for 200 So Yellow Ochre is this year's Jordan brand shade of yellow following the likes of Taxi, Thunder, Pollen, and whatever shade of yellow is on the Laney ones. Using the Carmine color blocking, yellow does give the silhouette a fresh pop, I would say. I just wonder if it's fresh enough for most people to care with the Air Jordan 6 finally becoming a common enough silhouette that you see them around all the time now. Um, we have the Kids Nike Dunk Low Dance. This is in multicolor. That's going to be on the 28th for 95 bucks. And now... To close things off this week, we've got a pack of Air Jordans to celebrate Chinese New Year, which is the Year of the Dragon. So if you were born in the year 2012, 2000, 88, 76, 64, 52, 40, you get the idea. 
then these are the J's for you. And if you're watching this years from now, since you were born in 2024, first of all, thank you for watching this from the future. And second, what's the vibe like over there? Uh, we have the Air Jordan 1 Low OG Year of the Dragon on the 24th for $160. Um, Jordans for Chinese New Year is a sneaker tradition that's been going on for a while now, but they saved some of their best work for the Year of the Dragon. The white base color is complemented by... Um, jade yeah it's a jade green overlay um that looks like and it kind of mimics the scales of a dragon there's hits of gold there's red on the swoosh laces the tongue tag and the heel tab and then we've got a gray satin finish on the collar which looks cool we have the kids air jordan one low og this is the year of the dragon as well these are on the 24th for 140. so they're also bringing the og low treatment to the kids size version but with the colors swapped out while the white upper remains the overlays are now gold with the swoosh being swapped to a scaly jade green then we have the Air Jordan 38 Year of the Dragon on the 24th as well, 200 bucks. So if you're like looking to hoop in some Dragon themed J's, the Air Jordan 38 is definitely the go-to. It's nice to see a current model Air Jordan be a part of this pack. And if you're being real here, it's probably the best of the collection so far with this deep red upper with the hits of green and the gold scattered throughout. Then uh, the pick of the week is the Air Jordan 2 Low Year of the Dragon. This is on the 24th for 165 each. Remember that, each. So you're not seeing triple, well, I guess you are seeing three pairs of shoes on the screen right now. It's just not three of the same thing. You get what I'm trying to say. Jordan Brand is dropping three different Air Jordan 2s for Chinese New Year's in men's, women's, and kid sizes. The men's colorway has embroidered dragons on the upper and swaps the jade green for a deep blue finish. It's a it's a departure from other J's in the entire collection for sure. Meanwhile, the two lows in women's and kid sizes follow the same color scheme as the ones in 38s with the red, the jade green, and then the gold. What makes these pairs more intriguing than the ones in 38s is they will likely be exclusive to Asian territories. And to up the difficulty level for those of us stateside who might be interested in these, well, each pair is limited to 2,024 pairs each. So yeah, expect to call some favors in to grab even one of these. All right. Uh, that's gonna do it for the show. Thank you. Yeah, thank you for watching the heat check. Uh, are those retros and the 38s the best Jordan brand Chinese New Year's offering so far? I think they are. Let me know in the comments. I'm Jacques Say. You know what? I'll see you guys next week. Peace. Can I call you Rose? Can I call you? Cause you're sweet like flat. Don't don't put that in the video. I was just shitting myself for a minute there. All right, y'all. I'm out.